At long last, it's finally happened. There's always been a gripe I've had with Thrivecart for the longest time. And in a recent update that kind of silently scooted by my attention for a couple of days, it's here. And in this video, I want to share with you four updates to Thrivecart that have totally changed the game. Let's go ahead and dive in. Hey guys, John here from IncomeMesh.com, helping you find smarter and more profitable tools to use for your online business. And in this video, we're gonna cover four design changes to the Thrivecart page building experience. Now, if you remember, Thrivecart relatively recently brought out a, an entire page builder, but it was always very basic. And they've been slowly plugging away at making it comparable to a uh, landing page software that's out there. But there were a few things that just weren't quite there yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover four of them here. Let's go ahead and dive into the first one. So the first one here, is on any sales page, one of the most common things you need is a frequently asked questions section, and it has been elusive up until recently in Thrivecart. Now they have a complete FAQ section. Let me go show you on the front end here. This is the page we're gonna cover some of the, the benefits here. Oh, and by the way, stick around to the end because I'll tell you how you can get access to this entire page template totally for free, okay? So stick around to the end. All right, so down and below, Generally, after the checkout opportunity, if they haven't bought yet, they might have some questions. So the FAQ makes sense to go right here down below the checkout. Um, notice the black background. We'll cover that in a second, too. But we've got fully editable, um, very nice looking accordion or, um, you know, toggle switches here where you can ask questions, answer questions, and then even put a buy button down below to bring them back to the checkout. So if you have sales pages where it's just tons of text, question, answer, question, answer, and the answers are long, that looks hideous on a sales page. I've got some pages that are like that too, don't worry. But now with this um, accordion feature, you'll be able to tuck away all your answers and they can only expand out the content as needed. To set that up, couldn't be any easier. We'll come here, you just drag in the FAQ block to where you want it to be. I'll just drag it to a different section altogether. Put it up here. And then you can move myself over here. You can choose if they're going to be joined together or separated. I'll show you what those look like. Uh, bullet point position we'll put on the left here. And then let's go ahead and set up the FAQs. Question one, answer one. Add another question. Look how easy this is. Question two, you get the picture. So I'll save this. And you can see when they're joined together, it looks like this, like kind of one contiguous thing. You can change the color of the button to blue or the little toggle arrow. And you can also change the background color to uh, maybe something crazy, text, white. You get the idea. You can have fun with it. Um, I personally prefer the separated option there. Okay, so that's change number one. Super beneficial for long sales pages. All right, feature number two, and the one that I'm super excited about, is they've added in content boxes. Dun, 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 dun. If you've used Thrive Architect or Elementor, you're extremely familiar with this. They go by many different names, but essentially it's a box you can hold stuff inside of. And before, with Thrivecart, their page building experience was kind of boring, right? Like you're just text, 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 maybe some bullet points, text, 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 maybe an image, but it kind of all ran together. Now you can do... Very simple thing. So for example here, um, I like this page design of being very simple, very clear, but it has these boxes where inside the box, I've got a header, I've got some text, and I've got some bullet points. This is a great content pattern when you're building out sales pages to keep your content clear, like the, the message you're sending could not be clear. Here's what I got. Here's what I can do for you. Here's how it works. You know, this structure works extremely well, but when you're just putting it out as text on a page, it can kind of be boring. So this actually provides some context of moving through the sales process because they, okay, they, they get why this box is here. And by putting the content in a box, people can, you know, mentally be like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to get out of it. What's my takeaway from this box? Let's move on. And that's exactly what you can do with content boxes. And the design is great. I can drag them in. I can put in a testimonial into this box. I can put a uh, you know, header above the box and say, see what they think. Think. And then by default, it's going to center align everything here. But I can also make it top align or even bottom align if you are feeling crazy that day. Uh, we'll keep it at center line and also minimum height. So you can expand the height if you need to. You can also add a border. So I can put a blue border on the outside, uh, maybe make it a little bit thicker and also round it. Boom. And of course, change the background color of here. So if I want to make it a dark section, I can do that. But if I do that, I'd also probably want to make the text white. 
Get the idea? So super beneficial. It might seem like a small thing, but just wait till we get to the next feature. Uh, this content box is extremely valuable because it just adds a little bit of variety. It makes your page, honestly, less boring. Okay, so that brings us to feature number three, which is honestly just a click of a button. But if I come down here, I've got another content box, but notice it's actually a full page section. So if I go to box, it goes to what we just kind of looked at and I can toggle it to be a full width. So and we'll talk about the page container in a second, but now having a full width background, you can simply have a bunch of text on a page, but still make the page look interesting by having that color flow throughout the page. You can go from a black section to a white section to a blue section and the page is exciting. It's fun to go through. It can have your branding built in. And up until this point, you could your color options were quite limited. You can change the color of the background, which that does not look very good. You can change the color of the background to that, and you can co color change the color of the content of you know this background here to red or something. That that was pretty much the color options you had for background. Definitely was not sufficient for modern marketing needs. So they fixed it, and it's great. So a couple of things to note here. Um, one is you'll notice that by default, it is simply filling up that white area of the page. If you want to, um, you know, go farther, you can make the page bigger, but it's still going to stay contained within this white box here. If you want to be able to have full page, uh, you know, colors, you can do that too. Let me show you how. I think this probably is still a little bit under development, but it's looking really awesome. If I drag the content box down below the white area, so down here, check this out. So I'm going to add a, just a color here, purple, and then I can go full width on this and it will actually span the entire width of the page because it's not containerized. Like it's not put inside this white box of the page. And so you've got way more flexibility in how you use this. And I could put in my, probably not a countdown timer. I could put in my bullet points here and rock and roll. Um, I'm a big fan. I love it. Uh, this is getting us so close to full blown like page builder territory, but it gives you all the benefits of sticking around in Thrivecart's interface, which means you're not dealing with plugins, you're not dealing with um, heavy page speed or a ton of stuff going on. This is your checkout solution. So ton of benefits there. Okay, last one is the columns feature. So they've had the columns feature for a while, um, but honestly, I didn't really use it that much because it wasn't all that uh, useful to me but it's become way more useful now. So check it out. So I can drag columns in anywhere and I can choose, uh, let's just choose two columns now. Um, and now I can actually drag the, um, you know, the proportion of how much the left column is versus how much the right column is. And that's a huge benefit. I can also do top or center alignment or bottom alignment as well. And so let's say if I wanted to put in some images here, I can put in image one as a book and I can put in image two on this other side as an iPad or Mac or whatever. And I can kind of play around, make it look right. And what they've chosen to do, I think this will probably be um, available to swap later on. But if you go to mobile, you can see everything looks good on mobile as well. It's important. They've chosen to um, make the columns not stack on top of each other. Uh, which this looks good as long as you don't put a ton of text and a ton of stuff into your columns, which I think is generally a good idea anyways, not to go too nuts with your, your design. Um, because guys, it's 2021. We all get it. It's mobile first. Like uh, people have these great, crazy looking designs on, that look great on desktop, but then they're broken on tablet and they look awful on mobile. So just go ahead and keep your stuff simple. And that's why I see myself using Thrivecart more and more as our sales page builder, especially with these last few tweaks, because now we can have all the conversion elements we need. We have the countdown timer, have the bullet points, have the different colored sections as we're going through. But it still gives us enough restriction that we're not going to find ourselves doing anything crazy. We're not going to try to do things we honestly should not do because they're not good for convergence. They're not good for mobile design. All right. So let me go ahead and clear this out. And those are the features. I went through all four. 
Now, if you want to get access, I'll clean up this design since I kind of messed it up along the way, but that design actually has really good tutorialized content to help you with your copy. You know, what should you say and what order should you say it in? If you'd like to get access to that, as well as a ton of other bonuses, because Thrivecart has done this really big update, I'm going to add this into my Thrivecart bonus. Any affiliate, if you click on the link that's in the description of this video or go to incomemesh.com slash Thrivecart, you'll be able to get Thrivecart for a lifetime deal. They have not raised the price yet in a, in a while, so it might be due sometime because they are clearly working on it, right? Like it's just showing really good progress towards where we want it to be. So if you want to get those access to those bonuses and see what the bonuses are, there's a link down below for you to check it out. It helps me, supports the channel. I appreciate you in advance. But just because I am an affiliate, this is honestly a great tool. We are doing um, very well with sales on Thrivecart on our main business and I'm not going to change it. Like it's, it's working really, really well. So hope this is helpful. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that stuff, and be sure to check out Thrivecart where you can get access to, I think it's seven full trainings of Thrivecart. Plus now we're up to three done for you templates in Thrivecart inside the bonus area. Be sure to check that out. I'm very proud of it. Hope you are as well. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.